At level 32, a courier will bring you a letter from a notorious bandit leader named Tyra Bloodfire. With Bloodfire's gang disbanded, she now wishes to seek atonement for her criminal past by facing you in combat. But first you must prove your character. This begins the alternative armor's quest, Heart of Crimson. You'll be instructed to give alms to a beggar sitting near the docks in Windhelm. You can choose yes. to give him one gold, a hundred gold, bread, or you can simply offer to pray for him. Malorinth was feeling generous, so she handed over oh, the one hundred gold, thank you. but it doesn't matter oh, which option you decide to pick. Take care now. Next, you'll make your way to a nearby shrine just to the southwest of Windhelm, where you'll find Tyra Bloodfire, praying to Talus. Once you've defeated her in battle, you'll be able to take her full set of enchanted ebony plate armor. On her, you'll find an ebony plate helmet, making your heavy armor 20 points more effective. Ebony plate armor that increases your health by 50 points, ebony plate gauntlets which raise one-handed attack damage by 30%, and ebony plate boots allowing stamina to regenerate 30% faster. With this quest completed, you should now begin to find ebony plate items scattered about Skyrim in the form of random loot. Thanks for watching, and please let Malorinth know that her flute lessons are paying off by giving this video a thumbs up. It would really mean a lot to her.